Hey, it's Matt with Hacker Outdoors, and today we are reviewing the train shot. And at first glance, the train shot may look like just a normal cardboard target, maybe a little fancy holder, but what this is, is it's considered a smart target. Uh, we, saw, we saw these at um, that SHOT Show this year, and we were like, man, that's really interesting, so um, we decided to get that as a giveaway this month. So if you win this month's giveaway, this is what you're getting. You're getting uh, the train shot, this is kind of the, the heart of it, and then you have targets. I will be using one of the targets, so you'll be having one less. But you get these, plus there's the Ipsic style targets that come with it. Um, what kind of makes these targets unique is uh, they are made of cardboard, but they print the black lines with, um, like I guess, a conductive material. So it's the printed on here, and then it's cardboard, and then I, something like aluminum foil type, and then cardboard again. I mean, you can kind of see the aluminum foil in the back. See how it's metal here, so cardboard metal. Um, this clamps into here, and then on here, it has all these lines up here, but each spot, this connects to each one of these targets. Um, What's kind of cool is, is the heart of this is it connects to your phone, tablet, something that uh, can download an app that's on the Google Play Store and uh, out of the iOS or Apple Store. And so if you have a tablet or phone or, you know, I guess those are your options, uh, you can connect to this and do different things. You can do a uh, single shot, you can do competitive. Um, it also will record your shots. So it can do your split times, um, and then you know it can tell you like, hey, shoot target A, C, B, D, then you know E. So that way you're you know, transitioning and you're going around, but it'll, it'll track it, you know, when you're shooting, where, what targets you're shooting. Um, it's a pretty cool system. So we're gonna take it into the Acura test tunnel where we do our uh, testing for bullets. And we're going to try with normal bullets. Um, it'll be 40 cal with my Smith & Wesson. We'll use Acura uh, flat point, 180 grain. And I have a nine mil, uh, I think it's Acura 124 grain. And then uh, it claims as long as the projectile is metal. Um, so pallets, BBs, uh, it will record those. So I have an older pellet gun. We're gonna try to shoot with that, see if it detects it. Um, it's like a .17 size pellet gun, so it's fairly small. And uh, we'll see what happens. So with getting this to work, you have to connect your device to here. So on the back of it, there's a on-off switch. So now it's going through its boot-up sequence. Okay, so now you just connect. And it'll show right here. So it's showing that it is connected to this device. So we'll go back. So now we're connected. And so we can do different single target, multiple targets, competition. Um, we're gonna start with just free shooting. And then we got to scan the target. So after scanning the front, uh, it shows that we are shooting the circle target, which is the one we have. Also the lights are turned blue, so good to go. And now we 
you should be ready to shoot. Make sure you got your ears and your eyes. shots and I uh, just had more of an issue with my pistol than anything um, so now we're gonna try uh, a pellet gun so let's try this little guy out see if he'll detect pellet Okay, so we got one detection. All right, so all five targets uh, detected. I think the first one might have gone through another hole, so that's why I didn't detect it. Um, so it looks like you know, if you don't want to waste ammo, uh, pellets are pretty easy to come by. Um, it says it'll detect BBs, 22 long rifles, a lot of smaller stuff. So if you're looking to, um, you know, try one of these out and conserve ammo during these times, uh, this would definitely be a cool option. Right on this, this target, this is also the one they used at SHOT Show. Um, and we got the box. Yeah, it's too bright. Uh, so you can do a hostage. So it'd be kind of cool to see. Uh, we'll detect, you know, obviously we're gonna shoot. You've got an IPSEC target. You've got the one that we did today. You've got a hunting one, which I think that'd be really cool for people who are in hunting. 
And then it looks like you can get a target mix. Um, and then obviously it's the new designs, but I don't know, we'll see. And then down here, uh, it says please avoid plastic coating. So uh, you guys are buying Acura bullets and buying that coated crap, these don't work. So Acura does work. So yeah, plastic coating, Teflon coating, bolts with painted coating. So basically it's all you coated guys. You can't use these, you gotta use Acura bullets. And then shorter bolts, less than four millimeters and plastic BBs. So it looks like uh, if you have a, a, a pellet with a tip and a flared back, um, that will work just fine because we detected on all of them. Um, to make that more fun, I would definitely use more of a gas powered one um, just because uh, I, that, that pellet gun's older than me um, and I don't think gas was that big when that came out, so pumping was the thing. So I would use a gas powered pellet gun, but yeah, definitely, um, I, would, I would, I think it'd be really cool to use. Um, I, my light, or my red dot went off on my 40, um, I try to guesstimate aim and nick the target. Everything works great still. Um, yeah, this is a pretty cool option. So yeah, if you guys have any other target stuff. We got a, another target video coming up soon. And until then, stay safe and I'll see you on the range.